Howdy folks, back again with some more um, food from Australia which is quite reasonable in price I'll start over here I buy the long life milk, usually the litre ones but these small ones are quite handy uh, especially when you're travelling and then uh, you can buy these small packets of sultanas and they work out to about 60 cents each they're about uh, 60 cents each. And then of course you've got these cup of soups, pasta, and all these are always on special, the fried rice and the noodles, macaroni and cheese. Get them for about a dollar. Lately these, I think it's been a good buy. You get satchels of ready to heat gravy, two dollars. And there's plenty in there. So I've been using that and the, you get different varieties, there's roast lamb, cracked pepper, roast chicken. Um, now these, I know it might look funny, these are kiddies, six plus, but they're, they last for a fair while. I don't know what the use by date on this is, but that's tuna, rice and veggies, but my favourite bangers and mash and veggies. Now if you're traveling, you put some of these in your car for emergency, or you're going hiking, or whatever you do. I don't go hiking, but these are really nice. Just open one of these and eat these with some dry biscuits, crackers, whatever, bread and butter. Now some of the bargains I picked up at the, oh and these, these are on special, these only about a dollar. Um, when I went to the not quite right store in Melbourne, these are some of the things you can pick up. Tony Ferguson, I think he runs a chemist that's he's into weight watching, but he puts out these dishes, side dishes, curried rice and lentil side dish, 35 gram. There's a couple in there. I think they cost me 50 cents each. So they're just a bit of emergency to, to go into maybe a uh, food ration pack. Um, while I'm on the, there was soup, a cup of soups, which are these. You can pick these up for, on special for about a dollar, dollar fifty. I like the classic tomato, the chicken noodle, and one of my favourites. It's the classic hearty beef, which I use to thicken meals up. When I've got a, a meal and I want some thickening, instead of using flour, I just put a bit of this in and that thickens it up. Um, I picked up these spices. These are really cheap. Um, I worked out a dollar each or something. Now some of my real favourites, especially travelling, are these snack packs you get from Aldi's. They're just over two dollars, and in them you get a small can, either tuna or chicken, with some dry biscuits, and they're really nice. This one's tuna with mayonnaise and sweet corn. There's one there with mayonnaise, mayo and sweet corn again. That's chicken, tuna. This one's tuna with cracked pepper, and then you've got chicken with mayonnaise. So there's some of my favourites. Uh, here's, I think these are Aldi's, which is the jerky. Very expensive in Australia. I think these are five or six dollars, or even more. I noticed they had built on recently, they were thirteen dollars. So it works out to about thirty dollars a kilo. But I tried some of this jerky and I tried to reconstitute it, but it wasn't that good. So I'm not real keen on the beef jerky. If, if anything, I'll, if I really want it, I'll make my own. Now these um, coffees and teas, they're good for uh, food rations, packs, uh, when you're traveling. These, these are some of my favorites. These salmon pieces, you can get tuna as well. These are $2.00. It's still $2 because I checked on site at Woolworths. 
and it's half price, normally they're four dollars, or near close to four dollars, and these are 100 gram, so they'd be handy in a ration pack. Uh, this is another item I got from not quite right, they, it's hot chocolate, I think they worked out to be about 20 cents a packet, so it's hot chocolate in there. Now, another bargain I picked up the other day was these pineapple pieces in juice. This was at Coles. They were half price, down to two dollars. So I thought that was quite good in these little packs. So I've got three of them. Now another thing you can buy is these little containers with fruit. They work out to be at 50 cents each in a pack. I have one here, a different one. This is the Golden Valley. Now, if you go to the Asian section, you can get these fruit jellies there in the little mini cups. These are two dollars and five cents for a packet like this, and they're lovely. If you just want, they're not. They've haven't got a lot of sugar in them, which is good for me because being a diabetic, well, near near diabetic. So these are really nice to, to if you want something sweet now and again. And the other thing I like, you can get the jelly cups. These, these about four dollars I think. So you get six of these. You, they give you little spoons as well in them, usually in the pack. And they ha they have another one with it's like a little custard. And um, they're good for putting in ration packs. Now I'm talking about ration packs and cars. There's what I travel with in my car usually go in the boot or under the seat I have plastic uh, forks and spoons and I have some tea and coffee and the little pouches that you pick up here and there and there's some more spoons and some straws so you know when you're traveling and you um, stop for takeaway food or something like that and you say oh Actually, I've got some napkins in there too, and some sauces. But I think it's got some tomato sauce and some salt and pepper and some sugar. Um, there's some more stuff in there, and I've got some serviettes and napkins as well put away. So you know, when you're travelling, um, you know, always got a spoon or fork or a tea or whatever if you get stuck on the side of the road. Okay then. That's the end of this little part.